Okay, so I'm fixing a small puncture on my son's car, which has got 19 inch alloy wheels on. I've just finished getting the patch inside, obviously I've taken the tyre off using that stand. I'm using my new tool, which looks like a monster. A broom handle, wooden block, and one of these duck things. What I did find out using it is I need thicker tyre levers. Because the tyre lever, when you stick it in here and lever it over, it's got to be thick enough to be able to pull that tyre up and over the top of this. Uh, the ones I have are a little on the thin side. Uh, reassembly next. Alright, it worked. It actually worked. It put it on fairly easily. I did get tangled up with the, uh, the little depressing tool. This one that I was using to hold it down. But once you get it over halfway around, you can actually take it out and just walk it around. It works. This is the duck head I got from Amazon. As you can see the price there, 16 bucks plus shipping or whatever. Worked well. Uh, for the search, you just need to search for this word phrase here. Tire machine duck head. And then this will be the first one that comes up. It's an Amazon choice, so it will come up pretty quickly. It'll be number one when I did that search. And again from Amazon, this is the tire depressing tool. What it does, it pushes the bead down so it, it drops into the drop center of the wheel rim so that the tire can move and give you clearance for the uh, demount tool or mounting demount tool that you're using. This is also a suggestion for the thicker tire lever. Um, I ended up using my motorbike ones from years ago and they're pretty thin but it does need a thicker one and this is probably the one that would work with it. Here's more of a close-up of what I did to get this tool mounted on the block of wood. There's actually a, a diameter in here that is a little bigger than an inch, which is the size of the uh, pole I was sticking in. And uh, I used a short piece of this pole inside of here as a sort of a force pivot to load it against. It's not very obvious, is it, what I'm saying? Anyway, as a result, there's no cuts or scratches inside of here, which is good. Uh, as you can see, I offset the pole from the center of the tool, because the tool needs to mount on the edge of the rim vertically. And I offset the handle by one inch to account for the size of the Harbor Freight um, installation machine. A couple of other points to note. I found that this bit was hitting the tire uh, as it was going around, so I will have to trim this piece of wood off, but that's easily done with a saw. And on this side, this, this edge kind of got in the way when I was using the tire lever in this groove to lift the tire up over the bump here. But it did work nicely, worked well, and very happy with it. And it's much, much better than the Harbor Freight tool, which I found I could not use, especially the install bit. 